All right, so you think that you're just about done, and you are just about done. Uh, we actually want to do, we need to add something that's very important. So the manufacturer, whenever they make this, they're not just going to make these tiny little boards. Uh, they're going to make a, a full-size panel that's going to have boards from all kinds of other uh, other people who are having things made. It can be different sizes, different shapes. And so yours is just one board of perhaps hundreds on one large panel. So they need to know where your board ends. So they need an outline. Uh, so we can actually go, uh, you can click on an outline, and then you can actually go ahead and do it manually. You can just draw a line, you can go right around, but there is a more easier direct way. We can go up to board shape, create primitives from board shape, and then we want to do something on the outline layer, and it's going to be 20 mils, so it's just going to be 20 mil wide. This is basically just tells the company where to route the board out. And then we just click OK, and then the outline magically appears. Now if you want to see a little bit more clearly where that actually is, we can switch to single layer. So you can actually see how much of the board you're going to lose when it's routed out. Let's go back to that. It should be fine. We might actually, so if we zoom in, eh, we might lose a little bit of this uh, silk screen, but we might not. Just because we said it's 20 mils wide doesn't mean that they're it's going to be they're going to use a, a drill that's exactly that. Uh, there's going to be some uh, tolerance built into that. All right. So one of the things you always want to do before you actually set out your board to be manufactured, you want to switch over to the top overlay, go back to home. We want to add some text. So we're going to do things like um, let's say let's just this is going to be a breakout board. Uh, we'll call it. Uh, a little slot called version one, uh, and then we're going to put our name, our date. So here we're going to do, uh, let's see, 16 QFN to dip. And of course, I want to change it to true type font so it's smaller. And let's see if I'm lucky, that will fit. Not even close. So we can double click that, and then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And will that fit that way? Nope. You know what? So I'm going to change that back to zero. And we're just going to call it 16 QFN. I think that 2 dip was kind of uh, kind of obvious. So that, that fits in nicely. So 16 QFN. Now you could write, and this one you could do 2 dip. But uh, I don't know. I don't think that's that's necessary. Uh, let's see, put name, Stephen Gross. This probably isn't going to fit on one, but we'll change that. We'll put this to 50 mils. Enter. Does it squeeze in? Oh, no, that's too bad. Double click it again. And let's just rotate it. Yeah, 270. And then we'll just, I think that one will squeeze in there. Oh, that's right. I wanted to do version, version one type okay and we'll just throw that right there and this let's see what is it today 929 2020 true type font click okay one of the things you can also do is um, you can make this inverted and all that means is that it makes it, everything around it. Oh, did it not rotate? What did I say? 270. And so that's kind of just something nice that makes it stand out a little bit more. But just something fun. So this is what our device is going to look like. Doing it in the 3D mode is it's not just a, a novelty. It's really nice to actually see how things lay out. Usually, if you look at something. Uh, on two dimensions, you can think you, th you kind of forget that this is actually not on the top layer, it's actually on the bottom layer. So we can actually move these around, make that line up. So we can actually put that over top and move that up. And so in the 2D mode, since we're actually looking through all the layers, it looks kind of messy, but when it's actually on three, it's actually not, it looks pretty nice. <coughs> so you can flip that around, you can see on the bottom the J1 and J2. 
Uh, also, one thing that we want to do, let's actually modify this. Let's go back. Since I want to know which uh, how it's oriented, I want to know which of these top two is, is this, is this pin one or is this pin one? So if you have it just like that, you might not know. You might remember, but you always want to make sure what you're doing. So we're still in the top overlay text. So 116, one, true type. I'm just going to slide it over here so we know what pin is what pin. So it's going to be pin 16, true type. OK. And we're going to slide that over there. So three. That's, that's not too bad. I should line this up a little bit better. So let's change the snap grid from one mil to right, let's do twenty. And then I want to move the one. So this just has means it's uh, you know it's more constrained. Sixteen. That that's nah, probably just about the same thing, huh? All right.